Hey everyone, uh, Greg Kim, head of CLG. I'm excited to uh, be sitting down with Jonathan, our LCS GM, Think Card, our LCS coach, and Jews, our academy coach, to start talking about uh, some of the year so far and some of our expectations for the season now that we're just uh, right about to start up LCS. I think we can dive right in. Obviously, uh, a bunch has gone on, but our boys are just back from Korea. So I guess, Thomas, starting with you, what was our goal with the Korea Boot Camp? What were our boys doing over there and uh, what were we hoping to get out of it? Yeah, so after Spring Split, uh, we brought all the players to Korea for an entire month to just, you know, get their mechanics up in order. The objective was just to make sure that like the players were super comfortable on the champions they wanted to play, their mechanics were really up to par. So when our guys are just like grinding solo queue over there, how do you think about sort of like structuring that or, or trying to like set goals for them to actually improve certain things. Yeah, so a lot of it is getting reps, but we did have Chris, uh, Chris on our strategic coach there to make sure that he can, uh, you know, give them some goals, have them have direction when they're grinding solo queues. And we're, we're really confident with the progress they're able to make there. We also recently announced a whole new team, which uh, is super exciting. It, I think it's something that we're all really, uh, really thought would be great for our program. But I guess Jonathan, like now we have CLG Faith, like what was, why are we getting to, a semi-pro team here and like what are the goals for the team? For us it's something that we've always wanted to do and it's something that makes sense for us to expand. So we get an extra five players, we get more coaches on staff, we get more voices to kind of shape CLG from the top down and give ourselves a, a kind of a broader list of people to potentially bring up to the academy level and the LCS level over time. So for us it's just kind of a no-brainer to support. What do you sort of feel like we can expect from this team, these players and the coaches we've brought in with Solo and Pally? Yeah, I think for us, like something I'm really excited about is that we have a roster full of young talent that have really like had not like a super ton of experience, so they don't have any particular bad habits or things that they've been leaning on, but they also have a lot of kind of groundwork to make up for the players that do have more of that experience. So for us, just indexing heavily into those younger players to kind of give them the resources and grow them as quick as we can. And so that's a bunch of cool stuff that's happened like pretty much in the last month, but you know, we haven't checked in in a while. We played a whole spring split. so. How would you say, Thomas, like you felt about our progress last year? Like what were some of the goals and you know, what did you see out of the team in terms of uh, you know, what you were expecting, what you were hoping to get out of the squad? Yeah, so when we went on stage in the beginning of Spring Split, basically found a bunch of obstacles that uh, we had to overcome and the players had to get a lot more comfortable playing on stage. Going into Summer Split, we know that like we already have that comfort. We're also gonna have uh, fans uh, to be able to cheer on the players this time too. So we're expecting a kind of a similar performance to the end of last split. So to you as a coach, like what would you say are some of the signals that like the team's on the right trajectory outside of just like the wins and losses? I think just the fact that uh, practice throughout the entire split was going uh, pretty well. Uh, over time, we're able to emulate the way that we play in scrims on stage. Yeah, it basically is like the best way for me to like see how well the team is improving because over time, stage play always catches up with practice. Having the chance to see a bunch of that stuff internally is like, it's been cool to see their growth for sure. Going into summer, like we have a couple roster changes, namely Douglas starting over Jenkins. Like, you know, why does the timing feel right for, for the change? We were watching a Dokla play in Academy and he gained a ton of confidence playing in Academy. He worked on a lot of his bad habits and he's just in like a really good spot to be able to show what he can do at the LCS level again. LCS obviously isn't the only part of our program and we made a couple of changes in Academy, obviously bringing in Kevin and Meech into our program. I guess, Jeeves, like, you know, why the new players? What, like, can you introduce them a bit and what we saw and, and some of bringing these guys on? So Meech was a player that stood out in Proving Grounds, um, played on an amateur team as well and you know, he was just a very stable player, um, had some very good mechanics. We're just really happy that he, he wanted to join us too and be a part of CLG. With Kevy, obviously uh, coming from the, the LCO, uh, he showed some like real leadership qualities, especially in like the, the communication um, aspect. And it was just something that we were really looking for uh, in our programs. And um, yeah, we're super excited to have them. So with our LCS level roster swap, pretty natural swap, like, you know, we've all been in this office for, for a split, but you know, you're introducing totally new players into uh, into your environment. How do you think about integrating new faces into the program when you have a bunch of guys who are playing together? Yeah, so we, we have our core, right? That still exists. And I think we've set, you know, some good fundamental and, and like internal processes, both in game and out of game that sets like a structure so that any piece can come in or go out and we're still going to like be okay. And there's going to be like a blueprint for people to follow that come in. What do you feel like your goals are for Academy this split? I, th I think when you ask a, a coach, a player or anything in any program what the goal is, the goal is always going to be to win. But I think like we can break it down in academy at least to like a few other subsets. The goal 
ultimately is to have five LCS ready players as soon as possible, right? And like with that, obviously if you have five LCS ready players, you inevitably win the league, you, you win Proving Grounds, you win Academy, just have them, um, you know, yeah, ready to compete. So we talked a bit about Kevin and Meech, but you know, also we're introducing Jenkins to our Academy team. So how do you guys feel about the opportunity that he has there? Yeah, so Jenkins has an opportunity to kind of work on the things that he wants to work on in an environment that is going to uh, be a little bit easier for him. He's going to be able to build a lot of confidence. And by the end of the year, I'm pretty confident we're basically going to have two LCS ready top laners. I guess similarly, like Rose Thorn staying in our program, how do you guys feel about Tim's opportunity in amateur? I'm super excited for Tim to stay on board, or Ro Rose Thorn to stay on board. Um, obviously, that was a decision that we left, left with Rose Thorn, um, and, he, and he was happy to stay. And I think it's just gonna be a really good opportunity for him, and like he's going to become like a very big leader, and, a, and he can impart a lot of like his knowledge and wisdom on, which in turn, I think is gonna help him a lot in like the progression of his career and like where he wants to end up at the end of the year. Taking the same question up to LCS, like what do you, what do you guys wanna see out of the LCS team this summer? I think for, for me, the LCS goal is always gonna be similar to the, where we're at in Academy, where we're wanting to see positive growth, right? We don't wanna see any of our players stalling out. We don't wanna see them struggling to compete, struggling to perform. But I think like for me, success is ultimately the players are getting better. We're getting better, not just individually, but as a team. And that cohesion is helping us be kind of greater than the sum of our parts as any good team really is. Yeah, so, you know, by the time we get to the end of the split and we're looking back and judging the success as we kind of are right now for spring split, like what do you look back at as the signals for whether or not we we're successful. Yeah, so we're just looking at the way that the players, you know, can develop their communication in game and scrims, the way they can uh, develop their mechanics, the way they work with each other inside and outside a game. And as long as they can, you know, like emulate that on stage and get better at that over time, by the end of uh, the split and by the time like playoffs roll around, then that to me is going to be a successful year and just going to build them uh, towards the future. Good luck to us. Season starts pretty soon, so hopefully, uh, hopefully, I'm excited. It's Especially now that we have fans back in the arena, it's yeah. going to be a different experience. I'm excited to get back there and get back to the studio every weekend. Um, so that's going to do it for us today. I guess to our CLG fans, you know, we know there's a bunch more we can be doing to keep you guys informed throughout the split. Obviously, we love to have this touch point with you now, but, you know, as we head into summer, looking forward to giving more touch points with us and the staff so you guys know what's going on, how the team is doing, hoping to bring a, bring a bunch of progress on stage. and. Uh, you know, really get to showcase our guys because ultimately at the end of the day, this is all about letting our pros and our coaches be the best that they can be and telling that story to all of our fans and all the fans of the LCS. So stay tuned and we're super excited.